Hey guys, today I am jumping on to do a little talk about my favorite coffee brand, Cafe Bustello. They are one of my brand partners for this year and 2019. It's very exciting. I love coffee and it keeps me going. As you can see, I'm super energized right now because I just had a cup. I can't say enough positive things about their products. The Cafe Bustello coffees are hands down the best brews I've had. They have them in K-cup form and in the ground form. They also have a few other products too, but I'm gonna talk to you today about my two favorites and how I like to make them. Number one, I highly suggest getting a French press they are so easy. So the French press, it looks like this, you guys can see. This only takes four minutes typically to steep. So you just put the hot, you put the grounds in and pour the hot water in. And then you wait the four minutes and you see the pump, you push it down after that time period, after it steeps for a while, and you get a really bold flavor. So you put as much coffee as you want for that bold flavor, as much as you're gonna drink. You can make it stronger, you can make it a lot weaker, just whatever kind of your preferences are. But it's super easy to use, super easy to clean. I love this. I use it for all of my coffee, pretty much. The coffee I use in that is the Cafe Bustello Cafe Espresso Molito. So this is one of their classic blends. It is definitely my favorite. I love the Supreme Espresso as well, but it's a lot bolder. So when I make the Supreme, I actually will use an espresso maker. So I use one of the stove top espresso makers and I only have a little bit or I'll mix it with hot water. I'll make certain drinks with it. That's definitely my preference for the Supreme. But to talk to you about this one, it has an amazing scent too. So you make it and oh my God, the whole house smells delicious like the coffee. I love the Cafe Bustello, has been around for so long. They're definitely a time-tested brand. They are incredible. They have amazing reviews and you can read my blog post on the history behind them. That was from September, on National Coffee Day. I shared about them. So I'll link to that below so you guys can kind of read more about the history of it. I really like this because the coffee itself, here's a closer look. It tastes really pure, so you can tell it's really well made. It's 100% coffee, they don't add anything to it, so it's good for you. And this canister will last me for a while. So I drink a lot of coffee, but these last you a good amount of time. So you don't really have to worry about running out every week. It's not that type, unless you're really drinking a lot, it will last you a, quite a bit. Um, you can also make this in a traditional coffee maker. So if you have your traditional coffee maker, you can use one of those. Supreme, you have to make this in an espresso maker. Or I shouldn't say have to, but it's highly recommended that you use this for an espresso maker, which as I mentioned, this one is amazing. Uh, it's just, you can get these all different brands. I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can get them pretty much anywhere. They're really affordable and the coffee that comes out of these has a lot of flavor, it's always really bold. It's not watered down at all, that's why I like it. And they really don't take long at all to um, be done. So you put it on the stove in like maybe five to eight minutes, depending obviously on your stove top and the strength that you want it at and how high you have the heat set. You don't wanna burn it either, so you kinda of have to watch your first few times, you kinda of get to learn like what the best is. So one thing about Cafe Ustello is that they are from Latin culture. So they really celebrate the Latin heritage. They still have a really strong Latin history and Latin coffee, that coffee that comes from that region is absolutely amazing. I have never tasted a more strong coffee that does, it's not too strong. It's like the perfect blend, I would say. But the espresso, as I mentioned, this is their Supreme. So this is definitely stronger. I 
recommend this for making espresso drinks with if you're just having a shot or a double shot this is really good I like to make this at a lot of holidays and family parties I'll make one of these it makes up to six cups and you can mix it with hot water for a cafe americano kind of kind of deal or you can make lattes cappuccinos whatever you like to make with your espresso or you can just drink it straight i mean that's one of the things that i definitely do and they so what's crazy about cafe Bustella is they've been around since 1931 which is so crazy and they've been around for so long they really are it's they're spot on with all of their things and this is 100% Arabica, and so it's made with 100% Arabica beans. It is definitely stronger, so just caution that, but they're both amazing. So these are my two favorite coffees. I have posted about them a few times, and I will keep kind of posting about them. One of my favorite drinks to make is when I make my espresso. And I got myself a little milk frother. This thing was probably like $5. It was super affordable. So what you do is you actually just put the milk in here and you just froth it, just like the French press, but you froth it so you keep you know pumping it until it's ready. And then I just take the espresso and I pour the milk froth right over it. So you get kind of a little bit of dairy and a little bit more texture. And they're really good together because obviously the milk's a bit more mild, it has a softer flavor, and it blends really well with the espresso. I recommend using whole milk, but you can also use different types of milk depending on your preferences. Or you could even use creamer if you really wanted to. Um, just kind of depends on what you're looking for. They're also really good with a little sprinkle of cinnamon, so it gives it a bit more of that flavor as well. You can find all my posts for Cafe Bustello at Bianca Blogs on Instagram. I'll link the one below for BiancaBlogs.com. I have some more coming up for the next few months, especially for the holidays. I'll be doing some holiday inspired posts. Cafe so Cafe Bustello is all about celebrating gatherings, being together with your family. It's very much in line with their heritage and their history. That's why I love having it at family events. I will be doing a little gathering with my family, kind of showing them the different flavors, how I make it, and just kind of celebrating, you know, why we love to get together and appreciate each other and really have that sense of gratitude, which is so big during the holidays and should be big all year round, but really for the holidays, this is perfect to have with all of your dessert. I like coffee as my dessert. <laughs> So I'll do little pairings and things, but look out for the holiday posts on these and definitely go get some of the Cafe Bustella to check out for yourself. It is great. If you have any sort of recipes that you guys love, I would love to hear them. So you can either message me at Bianca Blogs on any channel or you can comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video and look out for some more partnerships with Cafe Bustella.